Hi, this is Patrick James from Pro Systems, and today we're going to talk about two of the most misunderstood components of a carburetor, and that's air bleeds and emulsions. They work together as a team. Basically what these are is these are the computerization of the carburetor. For example, let's take a look at this emulsion stack. Look at the second one down on that application. That one is mostly responsible in this application for supplying the fuel to the engine at its torque peak. So if the customer's on the dyno or at the racetrack and he says, hey, the thing's just not leaving hard or the thing's lean right at torque peak and I need fuel in there, we would, we would look up its specs on it. You'd call us with a serial number. We'd bring up its fuel curve map so that we would know exactly what it did on the wet flow bench so we would understand what the proper change is and we'd say hey go to in this application the second emulsion down and change it from 28 thousandths to 35 thousandths well sometimes adding air actually richens up the mixture whereas normally you would think adding air would lean it out but sometimes adding air allows it to lift the fuel easier which richens up the mixture and so then the guy makes the change it picks up two more main jets right at torque peaks he's 15 to 20 more pounds at the hit I mean it can make that dramatic of a difference in an emulsion change and all, suddenly the car's a tenth quicker it's pulling the front tires or XMR it's making that kind of good power on the dyno but sometimes in that same application when you're adding air it won't richen it up because let's say you've already added enough air to maximize its lift capability and there's nothing left in the bank so when you add air it leans it out because it bleeds off signal so it's a tricky thing and that's what that's what i'm saying customers will call and they'll go hey if I go up in high speed air leads, will it lean it out? I don't know. Let's look it up and see what the package is because there's a lot of components in there that may have that effect. And the same thing applies when you're looking at idle air leads, for example. Customer calls says, hey, I'm really rich at idle. You know, I've got the mixture screws that are turned out. Hey, let's add some air to that system so we can help break that fuel up because you don't want the mixture screws out a very small amount because it's just really basically peeing through that circuit. You want to add a lot of air to it so there's a lot of volume flushing through there. It helps it break the fuel up. And then you use the primary side air bleed for example, if it's rich at part throttle, go up about 10 thousandths on just that primary side, and that'll allow it to draw more air in at light part throttle and lean it down. So you can see on these emulsions and air bleeds, there's a lot of tricky little stuff, and it's going to vary with the application. So that's why places like us are really busy. We've got good equipment. We've got good data. You can call us and say, hey, I've got this serial number carburetor. What do I do? Thanks for watching. This is Patrick James from Pro Systems.